Sunday morning. We begin with some sad news. Our top story right now, friends and family mourning a severe county man whose body has been recovered after falling into Lake Powell. News specialist Nicole Val is in southern Utah where she followed the search over the weekend. After three long days of searching the deep waters, the body of 25 year old Tim Rita Rita was found a little bit earlier just behind me. But officials say he was not wearing the one thing that could have prevented him from drowning. It's one of the most popular recreation spots in Utah and Arizona. Glen Canyon National Recreation Area receives over 2 million visitors a year. But what happened here Thursday, officials say, is an early season reminder for everyone. One of the men fell off the back of the boat. Thursday around 7 p.m., 25-year-old Tim Rita Rita of Sevier County was boating with a friend here near Waweep Bay. His friend was throwing life jackets to him and anything that would float. He was circling around trying to reach him and after a few minutes he saw that he'd disappeared. Officials say strong winds and rough waters may have knocked him off the back of his 20-foot boat. Within 17 minutes, the National Park Service and also Classic Aviation helicopter were on site and did the initial search of the area. And it was this robot that helped find Rita Rita's body. This vehicle can see through mud with the sound because sonar is sound. We can see video quality images through dirty water. So 148 feet of water, the robot went down and, and grabs hold of it and then brings it up, brings up the victim. The agencies urge caution, protection and safety on the water, especially this time of year. Remember, if you're going to be out boating in Glen Canyon National Recreation Area is to wear your life jacket. It's mandatory for children 12 and under, but it's important for adults as well. 116 people have drowned in this part of Lake Powell since 1960, but officials say that's pretty hard to do with what they call your smartest accessory. In Lake Powell tonight, Nicole Vowell, KSL 5 News.